Where there is no vision, the people perish. Whoa, uh -oh, sorry cars, can't get over, can't get over. Got it right that lane. All right, where there is no vision, the people perish. If you've got the vision, let's talk about vision. The vision is where you see yourself, where you want to be, where you, the goal, so to speak. Whatever goal you have. If you're chasing after success in life, happiness in life, fulfillment in life, there's your vision. You've got to be able to see yourself. If it's that big, nice house, you know what kind of house you want. Big 2,000 square foot, four bedroom, 10 acre lot, whatever it is. If you can see it, then you've got the vision. But you'll never reach it if you ain't got the vision. The, where there's no vision, the people perish. So you gotta have that vision to reach reach, a, reach somewhere in life. Any level of success, wherever, whatever it be, you gotta have the vision, you gotta hold it. You gotta be able to see yourself there. And then comes the next part. Because if you've got the vision but not the rituals, you need to stop lying to yourself. Because unless you do the work, you never get it. Faith without work is dead. So, that's two Bible quotes for you. And I'm, I'm, I bring them up in this video for a reason. Without the vision, the people perish. And faith without work is dead. You can have the vision. You can believe you're going to have it. But if you don't do the work, if you don't do the rituals, the little things, the small things, daily, you're not going to get it. Success and failure, they don't just show up. They just don't show up, although they seem like they show up all at once. But no, it's small little increments over a course of days, weeks, months, years that lead you to success or lead you to failure. They just don't show up. It's the rituals. It's the daily things. Like if you want to be, you want to be successful with finance. All right. Do you check your bank account every day, multiple times? Do you do the work? Do you hustle hard to earn the paychecks? Do you? Are you diligent about saving? Are you diligent about not spending money? Are you diligent about saving all the money you can have so you can grow that nest egg to a big nest egg? Are you doing the rituals? If you ain't doing them, then you won't get it. You can have the vision of being a millionaire. But if you don't do the rituals that millionaires do, you never get it. If you have the vision of having that big house, but you don't do the rituals, holding down a good job, making a good, good, good steady stream of money, building your credit, keeping your credit strong, keeping your credit solid, saving up a down payment. If you don't do those rituals, You'll never get that house. You can have the vision all day long, but if you got shitty credit and no money, yeah, you ain't. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. So, where there's no vision, the people perish. And faith without work is dead. If you want a vision, guys, let's talk about goals. There's two types of goals in life. There's little goals, there's big goals. There's means goals, and there's end goals. Short-term goals, small goals, or means goals. Uh, let's say I want to give me a CDL. That's a means goal. You get the CDL, boom, now what? All right. Well, I want to get a little bit of experience so I can become an owner-operator. Boom, that's a means goal. Now I want to get that experience, and I want to buy my own truck and lease on to somebody. Boom, means goal. What's your end goal? End goal is just, if not more significant than your means goals. Your means goals are small steps, small stepping stones to get to a level in life where you want to be as an end result. What, what is that end result? You want, my end result, me personally, is to be financially free, to do whatever, with who, with, do whatever I want, with whoever I want, for as long as I want, and, and not stress the, the the financials that's that's my end goal that's what I want to get there I'm gonna to have to hustle hard that's why I hustle hard that's why I make good choices because one day my end goal is gonna be that I'm gonna be money is not gonna be an option I'm gonna be able to do whatever I want with whoever I want for as long as I want that's my end goal all these little means goals that I've been accruing over the last 10 years they are building me up to my end goal financial freedom 
successful business owner. Uh, that's me. I would highly suggest you do one thing. And this is get out a piece of paper, uh, pen, and think about it. While you're driving down the road today or you're, while you're sitting in your bunk or whatever you're doing, think about what it is you want in life. And write down on the piece of paper. Make two little circles. Make short-term goals, long-term goals, or means goals, end goal. And write down, think about what it is what you want for your life. And whatever you come up with as an end goal, end result, think 15, 20 years from now, what is it you want to accomplish? What is it, what kind of lifestyle do you want? What kind of happiness do, we, do you want? What kind of person do you want to be married to? Think about all that stuff. What kind of money you have in the bank? do you have in a bank? All of that stuff. Think about it long and hard and put your end result in that end result circle. Now, over the course of the next couple hours, the next week or three, start thinking, what is it do I have, what is it that I've got to achieve to receive or to uh, achieve this end goal? All right, if, like I said, let's, let's use this for the means of this video. Channel, my channel is usually based around truck driving and successful owner operating and business, you know, motor carrier and stuff like that. So let's think about this. If your end goal is to be a trucking company with 100 trucks and you're sitting there and you're a company driver right now, okay, what is it you're going to have to achieve first as means goals to accomplish that end goal? So one thing, you're going to have to start off with a truck. You're going to have to build up some knowledge in that area. You're going to have to that's one goal. You're going to have to acquire some equipment. That's another goal. You can do all this, at least do another an, an, another carrier, say Landstar, or you know any of the guys like that. You can build a fleet within their fleet. Okay, another goal is you're going to have to set out and get your own authority. So there's another goal. Then you're going to have to build a couple years of running that authority and get your cost down and hire good drivers. You know what I'm saying? It, there, it's going to be lots of little goals to lead you up to that end goal. I think it was Henry Ford that said, you know, any, no obstacle, any obstacle can be achieved if you cut it up in small steps. So, I mean, anything in life you want to do, you're going to have to go through all the little steps to get there. And all those little steps can be little short-term goals. Hit, hit one, boom, move to the next, and so on and so on. And at the, end of the, at the end of that, you're going to hit your end goal. It's just all little rituals, daily actions, daily choices. Every day you need to think about this. Is it getting me further or closer to my goal, my end goal? If the answer is it's getting me closer, boom, do it. If it's getting you further, don't do it. Show and give attention to only that stuff that's going to get you to your goal, whatever it is. If it's not going to get you to your goal, don't give it your attention. Give your attention to only things that's going to push you towards your end goal. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's, this is the most, probably the single most important thing you can do in life, is sit down and decide who you are and what you want to accomplish and what you want to achieve in life and create that vision of yourself 15, 20 years from now. And once you get that vision, get to work. Do the rituals, do the little habits, do the thing that those people would do that already have it. Because in being, we become.